Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going to show you an excellent example of how our native wasps in North America act as natural and beneficial biological control agents in the wild as they kill pests in your vegetable garden. What you see here is a tomato plant with a large green caterpillar on it. This caterpillar is often called a hornworm because it has a horn-like structure that grows out of the back end of the worm. What this actually is, is the larval stage of a very large brownish gray moth called Manduca sexta. That moth, otherwise known as the tobacco hawk moth, it's a big moth, you can't miss it. When you see the adult stage, it looks like this. It's a brownish gray moth and it hovers around light bulbs at night and you'll see it perched in the daytime on plants or on structures. It's a hard one to miss when it's flying because it's quite big. The typical wingspan on these moths is like four inches wide. During its larva stage, this moth will eat plants in the nightshade family, typically tomatoes, tobacco, eggplant, that kind of thing. There's a couple species of the Manduca moths, and one of them is also called the tomato worm. It's a different type of larva than you see here. This one's actually the tobacco worm, but they're very similar looking and they act the same and eat the same foods, basically. What you'll see here on this larva are small white cocoons attached to the body of the worm. Those cocoons each have within them a small wasp called a braconid wasp, which is a parasitoid wasp. That means it lays its eggs inside the host organism, the worm. The eggs hatch, chew their way out, and they feed on the worm's fluids throughout that process. And when they come out, they form these little silken cocoons that are attached to the body of the worm. Once those cocoons hatch, the adult wasps fly out and the worm dies, thereby protecting your garden without pesticides, without toxic poisons, they simply naturally kill this organism off. That is biological control in action. So if you see these worms on your plants, you can pick them off. But if you see them like this, with wasp cocoons attached to them, leave them right where they are because they've already been essentially paralyzed to the point where they're not eating much anymore and the wasps are simply feeding off the fluids inside the worm. And these wasps are killing many of these worms around your neighborhood. So when you see them, let them live, the wasp cocoons. Just leave the worm where you find it, let the cocoons hatch out, and those wasps will take care of business all over your neighborhood and wipe those worms out. We believe this particular parasitoid wasp is called Cotesia congregata. This is a braconid wasp in the Braconidae family. This family is estimated by scientists to have anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 different species, some of which are known, many of which are undescribed at this point. But all we know is that they are extremely important to the natural ecosystems in which they are native. So please let these wasps survive. The adult form of these wasps are about a half an inch long. They're very small wasps. And you'll find that they don't attack humans, but they do a lot of beneficial work in our local ecosystems. So if you run into these hornworms in your garden, whether it's tobacco worm species or tomato worm species, they all look very similar. If you see them with these cocoons attached to them, just make sure the cocoons have had time to hatch out before you remove them from the garden. And you can tell if they're hatched out because the end of the cocoon will have a hole in it and it will be empty. We hope if you had a garden, you had a bountiful harvest this season. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.